Hi FMOS here. Today I'm gonna show you a decent build and play style that I enjoy after the latest update. It's a ghost rifle build. It's not the best damage build, but it doesn't require a lot of grinding, just a tiny bit of grinding, very low maintenance and stealth capable. Why I said this build requires a bit of grinding? Because you will need this first legendary star, the quad. The second star and third star don't matter that much. They are just for more, slightly more damage and slightly more efficient, but most importantly is this first star. So why do you need this quad? Because I will show you later how I will play it, but in short, you don't want to reload over and over again. That's why I chose quad. You can use another legendary effect like anti-armor, bloodied, junkies, but quad form is the perfect one for this playstyle. So it's not about the build, it's also about the playstyle. And say hello to my best test subject, the crowned Milo Queen. So I will aim for the right legs. Let's go. Super quick. You can ignore the sneak part and go ham with it. Just like when you're using ghost shotgun. It's pretty similar. But what I like about this build is that you are forced to invest to perception. So automatically all your fast accuracy is just will be better than any ghost shotgun build without sacrificing anything. I kill you. I kill you. So you basically get accuracy and get the damage at the same time, which is great. <laughs> I'm almost stuck there. Oh, it's just 76 being 76, you know. So that's why you'll need a quad, because you will spam it like this. Without quad, I have to reload every 5 shots. So yeah, quad is the best for this playstyle. And first I will show you my perks. And it's just classic something something fats critical with stealth build. <laughs> so yeah, it's really similar to other stealth build. But I will show you my version. So here I have blocker for more survivability. And I have all the rifleman's cards. I have tank killer for more armor penetration. And here I use uh, rank 3 concentrated fire to help me with the accuracy. But you could use 1 star concentrated fire and 2 star ground pounder. So you can reload faster. But why don't I use it? It's just a personal thing for me. It says uh, automatic rifle, so it's it's not supposed to be used with riflemen, so I feel wrong to use that. But feel free to use that, I'm not gatekeeping anyone. And in endurance, I have rejuvenated to help me with AP refresh, fire perform more defense from fire, lead belly, and aqua boy. Because I had to micromanage my radiation too much, so it helps me a lot. It's just for QOL quality of life stuff, so you can just get rid of it if you don't want to use it. For the Charisma, I have Tenderizer, because obviously it's 10% multiplicative damage. Who doesn't want that? So here in Intelligence, I have Nerd Rage, because it's a bloodied build. The second card is Demolition Expert, because it has plus 60% explosive damage, and every ghost weapon deals explosive damage also. So additional of the rifleman cards, we can add a tiny bit more damage from the explosions with demolition expert. So in order to maximize my damage, yes, I want this card. But I think you can ignore this one if you don't have enough special points. So you just put this as a secondary. So if you don't have enough points, just scrap it. Use it later when you have more points. And here in agility, I have covert operative for more sneak damage. Mr. Sandman, because Ghost Rifles has a, uh, what is it, a silence, a suppressor, sorry. Yeah, so Ghost Rifle has suppressor, it will deal even more damage at night. And then I have sneak, because for some reason Ghost Rifles a bit struggles to maintain sneak for some reason after this latest update. So I think this car helps a lot. And I have Escape Artist, obviously for stealth build best card i have gunfu i have adrenaline just one rank is enough if i can get 20 agility i will use more but it's not possible right 
so I will just use one star and the rank three doji. So this is the thing. I know it's a stale build, but sometimes you can still get one shot from like a uh, blind attack from the enemies. So I just need some tiny bit of survivability chance. So I'll put rank three doji here, but. If you are really confident, you can just remove it and replace it with Adrenaline or Action Boy or whatever offensive cards there. This is just my personal option. So here in luck is the most critical part of this build, no pun intended. So what you need is better criticals for more critical damage. Critical Safi, you pair it with 33 points of luck, you can crit for every other shot and that's insane. And then this card serendipity to increase my survivability and bloody mess for more tiny bit of damage. It's not that good, but it's there. So you can use alternative cards here in luck. If you don't want to grind uh, too much foods, you can use good with salt by removing bloody mess because it's just very tiny bit of damage. You're not losing that much there. You can replace it with good with salt. Or if you don't have the quad weapon, you can use the bloodied anti-armor or anything. You may want to use this card, quick hands, because you can reload instantly sometimes for 18% chance. It's not that reliable, that's why I choose to use quad. And then these are my legendary perks. I have all special cards maxed out and one follow through. Of course, it's very obvious for stealth build. Any stealth build should have this card. So here's my special points. You notice that I only have 10 perception, 10 agility, and 10 luck. That's because I maxed out the legendary cards. So they provide 5 points each. So yeah, that's why I only have 10 agility, 10 luck, and 10 percent. And to reach 33 luck with this setup, you will need all unyielding armors. You will need all 5 unyielding armors and then for this uh, under armor you want raider under armor for one more luck and 3 agility which is very useful for this build or you could use this uh, I forgot which one but it's the fault one or this or the casual one I forgot they will provide you with two with two luck but I it seems that I don't have it right let me check oh that this one so yeah this one provides you two luck but it doesn't have any perception and agility so yeah feel free to choose if you are still struggling to get the luck to 33 it will help you I think that's the most important. It's more important than the agility and perception. So yeah, feel free to choose. So here are my mutations. I have adrenal reaction for more damage at low HP. I have bird bones for more agility. That means more AP. And I have chameleon. It's optional. It's really optional, but it doesn't hurt to have it. So yeah, I just leave it there. Doesn't have any negative effect there. I have eagle eyes for more perception and this is the most important more critical damage and then here herbivore is also important because it affects the buff that we will take later it will doubles the effect and here uh heart mentality it's very easy to reach 33 luck with this mutation so yeah just use it it's free just be on a team even when you're alone it works when your teammate is mutated it is even provide you three points. So yeah, it's it's a free points basically. And here marsupial. Who doesn't like marsupial? And then here speed demon for faster reload. And these are the buffs that I usually use every day. They are very optional. I think you'll do very okay with without these buffs, especially when you have few pieces of uh, AP refresh. But if you don't have AP refresh, you might want this corn soup or more AP region or you could use the higher rank of this food it's, it's called company T instead of 6 it add uh, plus 20 AP regeneration 
So if you are not too lazy like me to craft that, you could use company tea. And for tato juice, you could also use uh, infused soot flower tea, I guess that's the name. And it, it uh, provides you plus 40 AP instead of 20, but I'm lazy so I just use tato juice. Because tato is plantable in your own camp. Yeah, it's, it's free AP point without any effort. So there are two ways how to use this weapon. For testing, I will aim for the shell so my damage will not hit her for 100%. So first method is just to spam just like I showed you before. Right? And then the second method, you can use, use it like this. This is especially very useful for a boss fight. So first I will fill up my critical bar and then charge it. Boom. And the next shot, I will just tap it and then charge it. See? And then I will show you how to do it in the, in the faster motion. So it's just basically like that. Normal, charge, norm, normal, charge, normal, charge, normal, charge, normal, charge, normal, and so on. That way you will save up more ammo. And I think for boss fight, uh, the second way is a bit faster because you will reload less. Because if you spam it over and over again, you will reloading a lot in a boss fight. Except if you feel confident enough, you maybe tr you can try just to remove serendipity or bloody mess and swap it with the quick hands. So it's basically almost like automatic weapons, but it just requires you to tap the trigger over and over again. So that's all. If you have any question or suggestion, feel free to put in the comments below. Thanks for watching and have a good day.